Okay, so OSU score. You might be familiar with it as the system that determines leaderboard spots on maps, and also as one of the most confusing scoring systems in any game ever. It's nearly universally hated by players, and in tournaments it's not even used anymore, being phased out for the better but still sort of mid score v2. So what makes score so hated, and why does it deserve every single piece of that hate? So this is score, a comically awful system. When complaining about score, the first thing that many people think of is mod multipliers. This is because the multipliers that each mod gives are so bafflingly strange that you'd think they were randomly generated. What most people complain about is things like hidden and hard rock giving the same values, and double time and hidden hard rock giving the same value. Basically it's just that hidden is grossly overrated. But I think the problem is much deeper than this, in the mod shouldn't have set multipliers in the first place. To illustrate this, I'm going to give you two maps. One is CS 7.5 with lots of space streams, and the other is 195 BPM with 1-2 jumps at AR 9.3 and CS 3.5. Now if I put hard rock on the first one, it becomes borderline unfseeable, but if I were to do it for the second one, it only becomes marginally more difficult. And with DT, it's the exact opposite, where the first one would become much more difficult but likely easier than hard rock, and the second would be so much harder than it would be with hard rock. In this situation, PP wouldn't weigh hard rock as the same on both maps, and star rating wouldn't weigh hard rock the same on both maps. So why does score? This is kind of annoying, but it's basically just a minor nitpick in comparison to the much deeper problem. And that is... When a new player starts the game, there will be a few good questions they have to ask about score. Like, why does the score with better ack and less misses have half the score of this one? Why does this score give much more PP but is worth less than this one? And most of all, why does this score with a better combo, better accuracy, and less misses have a lower score than one that is inferior in every single way? These are all questions that I don't think should need to be asked, and the reason for each is the rotten roots of score. And that is combo multiplier. God, I hate the way the system works. Basically it means that for each circle hit, the score is whatever accuracy you get, either a 300, 100, or 50, multiplied by your current combo. This is really funny, since there's no logic behind it, it's just something that's been in the game since the start, and it leads to catastrophic results. First is that combo becomes many multiples more important than anything else, leading to situations where the 1000th object of a map can be worth the entire first 100 combo. And then you have the fact that accuracy means different things depending on where in the map you get it. This is where the system truly breaks. Like an SS on the first half means nothing, whereas one on the end of a map can boost your score by thousands. This is how you get score rewarding, where a better score is beaten by one that is worse in every single way. And then there's the icing on the cake, which is that Osu only submits your highest score, meaning that getting score v1 doesn't just cost you a leaderboard spot, but also PP, with the best example for this being FG Sky, who has like three unsubmitted PP records. It has to be one of the most bafflingly annoying and confusing systems ever. But there is still a bit of hope, since there's a different scoring system used in Laser, one that was set up to become the new main system. So, if score v2 was implemented, would we actually have a good scoring system? Well, sort of. Score v2 in most ways is a massive improvement, getting rid of comma multiplier and instead scaling up the value of notes slowly as your combo goes up. And it also changes hidden score multiplier. These are both highly requested changes that make it much better than the score you want. But you might notice one thing about both of them, and that they're both just slightly better versions of score v1. Like for example, on this map I score v2'd myself in the exact same way that you get score v1'd. That feels awful to say. Like I really don't want to be this guy, but if you're going to leave the most broken part of the system in the new system, what's even the point? Like, in the end, I know Osu's an game, so it's fine to prioritize combo, but don't interlink it with accuracy, because it breaks the entire system, which is why score v2 really isn't that much better. So in short, every version of score is bad, and the one we have now is so broken that I would say it has nearly zero correlation with the impressiveness of a score. It's an archaic system that really doesn't have any place in the game, especially when there is a better, albeit flawed system that is already able to be played in the game. Sadly though, the chances of it being changed anytime soon seem slow at best, and there's even a pretty good chance that Laser will come out with the same
broken, crippled scoring system. And I think that's kind of annoying. 